What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a special package from Alpha Rex USA. Now, a lot of you guys may have not heard of Alpha Rex USA. They are a headlight company and they sent me a set of their new headlights to test out on my Denali. Without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy up. Also, if you missed my last upload, I unboxed a new turbo for the LOI, so make sure to go check that out. And I also basically told you guys what I'll be doing with the LOI. In the box we have the headlights. Check this bad boy out. This thing is bad. This thing is awesome. And we've also got the wiring harness for it too. Now I gotta figure out how this works. I think it's all plug and play for the most part. So there we have it. We have the Alpha X headlights, and this is a Nova series. I believe this is their newest headlights that they came out with. Those are LEDs, those are LEDs. So you don't have to like go out and buy LED bulbs or HID bulbs, it already comes with it. So it's pretty much pre-built. And if we look in the back, we got you know the resistors right here, which it'll get mounted on like a metal frame on somewhere on the truck pretty much plug and play and let's see yeah so it's pretty much plug and play we got to plug this into that wiring harness right there I'm assuming same thing with the other headlight and then we got to ground that and run it to the battery for the LEDs to power up now now which I'll show you guys in a minute once I install it but the cool thing about these headlights is that that uh that is your led daytime running lights and it works just like your factory ones actually now let me take that back these work better than your factory ones because these have the, the chasing leds which i will show you guys once i install it it's just super cool and you guys know that i put the led strips on the denali let's see if i got the keys there you go which it's not going to show but that's usually white uh, i put the led strip right there got it built by southern retro i put the led there because i wanted to give that modern look on this truck as you guys know um starting in 2014 gmc put it started putting like little led strips on their headlights to make it look you know a little bit more modern a lot of these newer vehicles are doing that something i've done with all of my vehicles is that i always liked having some sort of led lights uh some like some sort of led daytime running lights just because i think those make it look a lot more modern with that being said this perfectly achieves what i want to do only downside i would say that i don't like is the orange reflectors and how white this led strip is so maybe down the line, I'm gonna get this retrofitted. We're gonna get rid of the orange reflectors and maybe make this strip a little bit thinner. Uh, you know, either put black vinyl around it or, or uh, I don't know, paint it or whatever we gotta do to make it look, uh, have that look of uh, low profile look. But as you guys know, you know, as a company, they have to follow the DOT. It has to be DOT compliant, so they have to have the orange reflectors. So uh, they can't make it without the reflectors or else they'll be in huge trouble. So I can see why they had to do that, but I just think it'll look so much better without it. So in the future, we're going to get rid of it. But for now, we're going to run it how it is. But I am super stoked about these because just from the videos I've seen on Instagram, these look killer. And 
as much as I love the headlights that I have now, it was definitely time for a change. I wanted to do something, uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different in terms of the headlights. Although, I don't really see anybody with those headlights. Uh, those are basically the stock um, housing. Basically, it's the same style as the stock housing, uh, except with the LED strip in the middle. But these will, these headlights will take that truck to the next level in terms of uh, customization. So I will put the link in the description below for Alpha Rex USA in the descriptions below. Let's see how well these work because. Uh, you guys are probably thinking that these look a lot similar to like the spider ones, uh, Go Recon ones, or the Enzo ones, but my personal experience with spider, like basically you get what you pay for. I, I, you pay like 200 bucks and I don't expect them to last that long. I just, I, the, all of the spider headlights that I've had, the clear coat starts peeling after like a couple weeks. Projectors inside are, aren't that good. So. You know, when I buy those, I don't exp I don't have high expectations on how they perform. Uh, in, in terms of Go Recon, can't really tell you because I've never had their brand. Uh, but with Enzo, they're pretty much the same quality as Spider, from what I've been told. From what I've been told. So let's go ahead and uh, so I'm super excited about Alpha X because these seem like high quality. I'm super stoked on testing these out and then giving you guys like an honest opinion on how these are. All right, so we got this headlight pretty much out. It's out now, so we're just gonna replace it with our Alpha Rex headlights. There you go. And this whole thing will no longer be used. And then with the Alpha Rex one, uh, let's see. Let me go get that wiring harness. It has two of these connectors. So I'm assuming this side, the short side, will go towards your... Well, I guess it really doesn't matter however you want to do it because we got two batteries on the Duramax. So uh, depending on which one I want to tap into, I will probably use the far left one, our passenger side battery. So we'll do it this way. So we'll do the long side, we'll do the longer wire, hook it up to this white little thing, bam, like that, like so, and this is the resistor, so we're going to glue it onto probably the metal frame on the inside, like right here, but plug and play. So you're just going to plug this in to your OEM plug. Alright, there we have it. resistors are hooked up or the the wiring harness isn't hooked up I, th I believe that's what powers probably the LEDs but let's see what it looks like oh wow so it's actually working without powering that it's working without hooking this up to any kind of power source I mean, that's cool y'all look ready That is so cool. All right, so we've run into one problem, and that is, as you guys can see, I have an aftermarket bumper. Uh, with that being said, this plastic clip is there for your factory bumper, so it's sticking out like a sore thumb, but Alpha Rex, they're really smart people. If you look at this headlight, you don't see that. And that's because it's just a little plastic clip that you can unscrew, which I'll show you guys in a second. To remove the plastic tab, you just undo this one. Oh, here. Undo this one.
man, if this was a classic body, we would have been done in three minutes. But these new bodies are pretty much pain in the butt to work with in terms of headlights. But we're almost there. Um, this wiring harness is also for your daytime running lights and which I forgot to hook up over there. <laughs> so just with my luck, I've been doing a lot of dumb things today and uh, the wiring harness is kind of like backwards. I need this end to be over there mainly because I need to tap this wire into my ignition so that way these lights will turn on uh, whenever my truck is on. But it is an optional thing so with that being said I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna do that now we'll just leave it as is put it right there put the cover back on and call it a day and not use the running lights during the day so I'll show you guys what they look like now it's this is really really cool when you unlock it has a little pattern look at that Can you guys see that watch I'm gonna lock it got that little pattern unlock chasing LEDs that is so cool it looks so badass at night there you go Another thing I would like to point about the headlights is that I got the Nova edition which already comes with the LEDs and just look at that cutoff line. It is near perfect. Like you would never achieve that with um, the, like the Spider or the Enzo or the Recon. You would never achieve that line. Still do need to go back in there and adjust the headlights down a little bit because I don't want to be blinding people. but. That, that cutoff line is perfect. Like I did not have, when I had the old headlights that are in there, the, the stock housing with the LEDs, it just, the, the beam just kind of sh is scattered all around. And you never really got that cutoff line that you would see on a projector headlight. But I mean, that is really good. Let me just drive around and show y'all. Here it is. As you guys can see how bright these headlights are, I do need to go ahead and point them down just because my truck is lifted and I want the lights to be pointed down. If you have a stock truck, I would say that, you know, you wouldn't really need to adjust the headlights at all um, straight out the box, but right, look at that. That visibility is awesome. There you go, I mean, it, it shines. I'm honestly really happy about that cutoff line because you really don't get that unless you have good projectors or like the OEM, uh, OEM headlights with like uh, actual legit uh, projectors built inside them so I'm really stoked that my truck finally has like a newer style uh, projectors it's the little things that makes me happy just like having like a cool cutoff line that you see on projectors just take a look at that output it is it is awesome I mean the visibility on this is incredible and here's the high beams like just look that is amazing I don't even need a light bar but uh, the best thing about having the Nova series is that it comes with the built-in LEDs. Now, uh, a lot of these headlights that you buy, you have to buy, it either comes with really yellow halogen bulbs inside them already, or it doesn't come with any kind of bulbs. So you have to go out and spend 150 bucks to 250 bucks on just light bulbs, um, like the LED light bulbs that'll work. Uh, you may not even be satisfied with them. Also got to buy the the bulbs that LED bulbs that have that don't have the big fan in the back because sometimes if you do they won't work with projectors and they just won't they'll, they'll hit against a little frame on the uh, under the hood so you can't even put your headlights in so Nova series is probably what I would recommend but come and check this out guys Look how great these look at night. Look at that. Just look, look, look at that pattern. That looks like that's the same pattern that's on the 2014 GMC Sierra. So it just makes my truck look so much newer. Just if you saw this truck coming down towards you, you would see, you would think that this was a brand new truck.
look at those. That is awesome. It looks so futuristic. It almost looks like a Tesla. Last but not least. God, that's so sick. Oh my God, that is amazing.